this red table for me is a scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the booze. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. to call this a Dear Jada, Dear Jada in awe, Dear Jada in August Alcina, Dear Jada August Alcina, Will Smith, all of the like, the power of three and the truth will set you free. What's going on y'all? Um, it is time for me to offer, offer my honest thoughts about this whole Red Table Talk with Jada coming to the red table to reveal what a lot of us have already knew um, or speculated or was like, girl, it wouldn't surprise me. So we all know that August Alcina did an interview with Angela Yee a couple of weeks ago and in the interview, amongst a lot of other things that he talked about, he talked about his relationship with Jada. Uh, and this is not August Alcina's first time naming that or Mentioning it, like I told you on my previous video, that he, you know, made a song, um, a, what was it, like a year or so ago, and a lot of folks were saying it was about Jada. Um, he used her middle name and everything in the little video with the text message going and all that, and the song was him describing what he said in the interview and also what Jada hinted towards in her interview with Will Smith on the Red Table Talk. Now, this is going to be a little long and lengthy video because we got to talk about some things and um, I want y'all to sit down at my red table because I honestly don't take Jada seriously. Jada, I don't trust you with holding anybody accountable, let alone yourself, considering how T.I. and Snoop Dogg and a lot of other men have came on your show and redeemed themselves for foolishness and misogyny. Like, you are the person, like you are the auto zone of the, 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 the trash black men who hurt black women. Like they come in and get their parts and they fix them and they working again. They come in you and they get their oil changed and everything looking brand spanking new. That's what you do. You like, you fix them up. You, you provide that cloth of protection and you don't realize it. You're not a shaman. You're not a priest. You're not a, a therapist. You just talk slow while moving your hands. Sort of what I'm doing. You don't have any really no thing to show that you are a therapist besides the fact that you are a thin, light-skinned woman that can listen sometimes. There's nothing about you that screams therapist. But a lot of people see protection from you because of desirability. They see you as someone who cannot do any wrong and I think that's completely dangerous. I have built your whole brand off of this picture-perfect family we share all our secrets and all these things. No, you share enough secrets to not hurt your brand, sis. And I see right through it. So, um, watching the interview, I was actually on the way out of town when, the, when, the, when I watched it on Facebook. I only watched the first three minutes. And I said, I can't continue to watch this uh, right there in that moment. Because she struggled to name what the relationship was. And Will even had to say an entanglement. Like, sis, you were involved in a relationship with a man that came to you, a younger man, 20 years younger than you, that came to you for help. You said that he was broken, he was hurt, he had health issues, all of these things. And you were trying to provide him healing, but you ended up sleeping with him. So my thing is, did you offer healing to him because you were sexually attracted to him. Because we know a lot of mentors do that with their mentees. That's how people get jobs, that's how people get promoted because someone at the top, when we talk about power dynamics, finds this person attractive and probably will use what they have offered as a way to get something from them. I'm not saying that's what Jada did, but I very, I, I watch the mentorship stuff with a magnifying glass because I see it so much in my own community that I can smell it. And I, and I know how it works when you have someone who is offering mentorship to folks and they all look the same. So don't get me wrong, I don't have any, I don't think the issue about, it should be about Jada and Will Smith 
doing whatever they're doing in their marriage. If they want to have 20,000 folks, they can do that. You get to define what works for you in your relationship. And let's be honest, I have to tell a lot of folks and explain that marriage was never about love, ever. It was all about owning property. It was all about financial stability, protecting your assets, all of that. It's always been about that. Recently, in our history, it has been promoted as love. So they can sell us wedding rings, engagement rings, wedding events, all of these things, bridal showers, all of these things for folks to make money off of. Look up the history of the diamond ring. It wasn't even a thing like so many years ago. Like it, it, is a, it is a statement piece that we fall into and we feel the pressure to do and we do it and we make folks money in the process. Like look up the history of some of these things. So I don't have any problem with Will Smith and Jada being together in a relation, in a marriage, even though they're not together. I don't think anyone should have a problem with it. That is their relationship. That's their marriage. They can do whatever the hell they want. The other thing, I'm paying attention to the mother, Jada's mother, who posted on Instagram, get rid of the pedestal you put people on. Recognize that people are only people with flaws and imperfections, just like you and me. Do that and you'll be much happier. Cause guess what? They already are. Sleep well, beloveds. Keep it pushing. That was them putting some type of dressing, some type of band-aid on them being called out. Everybody knows that Jaden and Will Smith are not perfect. People know that. People know that folks are not perfect at this point. But you can't get on Instagram and say, don't put me on the on the pedestal and all these. Y'all have built your whole brand off of, y'all have benefited off of being the picture perfect family. Y'all have made money off of it. So much that we y'all, none of y'all are no therapists, none of y'all are licensed to my knowledge, none of y'all are, you know, practicing for none of these things. But we trust y'all because y'all are allegedly perfect for you to have a show to have conversations and stuff and for healing. You use the word healing and all these things. But since you ain't even healed in the inside. Now, I get it. I'm one of the folks who I love to heal people. I love people. I love to make people feel good. But you have to be, you have to be very cautious. When you are using that power to lure someone into you and being interested in you. You have to be very careful and cautious of that. And Jada being involved in this relationship with someone who was hurting and, and hungry for whatever and you cross the line we cannot deny that it is not harmful we can't we can't pretend like it's not harmful considering that Jada not only is she 20 years older she's also in a position of power because she has influence she's a celebrity she's way big and she's way more financially stable than August Alcina not even just the age thing I don't think that's an issue but the power that Jada, like, you don't you don't see these issues too much when it comes to like women, because a lot of often times, 90% of the time it is men in positions of power. But Jada, we not gonna let that 1% of women who do that, that little 1% that you feel, we're not gonna let that get away. Like, we're gonna name what you did. I'm not expecting Jada to be held accountable to the point she's going to jail or doing all these things or she should be reprimanded. But naming what happened and she could not even do that. Name that you were involved in a relationship. You had sex with August Alcina. You were whatever. To the point that this young man now is in pain. He is in pain. He's lashing out. He's doing all these things. So you need to be sitting down at the red table talk, talking to him in private and offering some something some type of protection, some type of healing, or, you know, apologizing. You might have already done that. You might have already apologized and had a conversation with him. But since he still needs more, you should have never done that from the beginning. You knew better. And we can't put this as a quote-unquote mistake. That is predatory behavior. I'm not going to allow someone to say, well, it was a mistake. I got involved in something. I was weak and da-da-da. No, ma'am, because had the shoe been on the other foot and it would have been Will Smith involved with a younger woman, they would have ate Will Smith alive.
Will Smith probably would have still survived, but he would have been looked at like, oh my gosh, like, no ma'am. So we're not going to accept it from men. We're not going to accept it from you either. Like, it's just not, you're not going to sit up here and say you slipped up and made a mistake. But what's trash about all this is, men always do that. I have to name that too. Like, men always say they all, like, you know, I, I slipped up and, you know, I made a mistake. And then, you know, oh, the wife is standing by the side and she's protecting. And she's like, oh, we're going to get through this. We saw this with Bill Clinton. We saw this with a soul. Bill Clinton and, and, and Hillary Clinton. We saw this with so many marriages where men have done stuff. And and, it's, and and they cheated on their wives and their wives come. We saw that with Kobe Bryant. Like, we see that. We see that they stand by their men. This is awkward because we've never seen, and I've, done, I've mentioned this several times, we've never seen where the woman has actually, you know, made a mistake or whatever, and the man stands by. Um, I think that, I don't think that Will Smith and Jada are in a relationship how everybody else sees. I think they're just in a commitment financially to benefit both of them um, as we're going to keep this family, we're going to keep everything, because all the children are grown, all the children are out of the house. So I'm not understanding why they even need to stay together or not. So, but it will be better for them to be, to, to be together because they can sell things like the red table talk. They can sell their image. So we can't act like that's like not a thing. Like, oh, we, we're not perfect, but y'all have made money off of being the, the perfect. You can't be sitting here and saying, oh, no, we're not, but you're still benefiting off of that. You just, it, it just, it doesn't work like that. Um, so... Jada's red table talk talking to Will Smith. I got a lot of things. I can't even mention all the things that I was getting from it. I noticed that Will Smith looked kind of tired and he looked weary in the video. His, his eyes were red. He looked like he didn't have any sleep. He might have been. I don't know. His eyes looked very red. He looked very tired. I um, mean, you can just tell the energy that he was over for me. Let me let me give my opinion. Watching it, what I got from it is Will Smith was angry. He was pissed off because it hurt the brand, it hurt the image. I think that's why Will Smith was pissed off. I don't think he was pissed. I think that he did give some sort of blessing to August Alcina in the form of he knew what was going on and he was like, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Just keep it low, protect my family. That's it. I think that was his blessing. I don't think he's, I don't think he said, you know, blessing, I give my blessing, y'all do that, like this weird type of give my blessing type of thing. Um, and even if he did, it's nothing wrong with that. He said, you know what? That Do what you gotta, it, it would be nothing wrong if he did give his blessing to that. Like, I don't care. What I do care about is that the power dynamics that are in play. Jada being a rich, successful actress, um, and uh, like, with power, she's a celebrity. August Alcina, not even just being younger, but him coming and hurting in pain, he was dealing with health problems, all of these things. Um, I think he even talked about drugs and stuff, all of these things. And you are now, it's like sleeping with your teacher. Like, it, it would be like sleeping with a teacher, like Jada, that's not, that type of ideology is not safe, it is completely dangerous. It is dangerous. Um, but I don't think you're going to be reprimanded or anything. I don't think nothing's going to happen to her. Jada did it perfectly. Now, I do have questions when she said that people were making statements for her and that she didn't say anything. Who are the people who made the statements? Because from, to my knowledge, your PR person came out and released a statement. I don't know any PR person that's releasing a statement without talking to their, um, their, their folks. I, 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 I don't see how that even happened. So is it that your PR person put out something? And then it wasn't going away like it did with him when he released some, some tea about it a while back. Like, you probably thought it was going to bubble over, it wasn't nothing, but it started getting a lot. Now, Will Smith named and said that Black Twitter has made it their business. No, Black Twitter ain't made it no business. August Alcina did an interview about it, and we started to talk about it. Y'all love when us Black Twitter folks and everybody on social media and Black folks are investing in all y'all little pet projects and all y'all little things and watching y'all shows and making y'all money. But when it comes to something that y'all don't like, oh, no, it's private, no... It could have been private had y'all kept y'all stuff locked up. Had y'all kept the stuff at the red table, we wouldn't be watching it behind the red screen, girl. Behind the red recording button or whatever. We wouldn't be seeing it. So that's y'all fault. You should have had some folks sign some nuts, disclosures and all that. You should have been sending out them things. But you can't be sitting here mad because we turn it into a conversation. And Jada, you did it perfectly. I'm going to tell you how calculated it is. They did it Friday. Released it Friday, because this stuff happened on July, like July the 4th weekend. 
They released it Friday, so we can talk about it all weekend. And by Monday, it's old news. Versus releasing it on Monday or Tuesday, it would have carried throughout the week to the weekend to the next following week. And when you release stuff like this on a Friday, people are enjoying a weekend. They ain't going to be too invested in it and all that. Versus releasing on Monday when folks are like, ooh, girl, get to work, talk about it. Get to work on Tuesday, talk about it. Get to work Wednesday, talk about it. And so on and so forth. So it's very calculated. Girl, I see it. When I tell you I study PR stuff like this because it's so fascinating how the how we react, how society reacts to stuff like this. I find it so fascinating. But everything that they've done with this was really calculated um, to protect the brand. And that's what y'all are in, that's, y'all are interested and a hundred percent invested in protecting y'all image, y'all brand, so y'all can continue to make money off of that. And August Alcina revealed what a lot of folks have been saying in Hollywood for the longest. Like, a lot of the girls have been saying that y'all had an interesting type of relationship. And I felt like, y'all, it's honest that y'all claim y'all are, you should have just said that from the beginning. That me and Will Smith, together, we are, are, are one, but girl, we go out and do our own things. That's being real. Now, you ha- like, if you would have did that, we would have had no issues and all that. But y'all so interested in keeping this cookie-cutter image that y'all say y'all not trying to be perfect, but still benefiting off of. It's getting weird, but um, Jada and uh, Will, girl, you can tell that Will was over it, and he probably was serious about getting back. I don't know if that has anything to do with Dwayne Martin or not, <laughs> girl, but I actually didn't like the conversation about Dwayne Martin because until Will Smith says that he's queer or gay, I don't want to um, assume that he is until he said he is, and even if he is bisexual, whatever, so be it, so be it. Um, and, but Dwayne Martin come out and say, girl, this is the thing, I'm going to be, my ear going to be to the streets. But that's all I got. Tell me what y'all thought about the August Alcina and Jada drama. Let me know in the comments. Do you feel like that Jada um, was wrong? Even just a little bit. Let me know in the comments. And I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye. Now, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to do Bad Boys 4 without her. I'm going to do I Am Legendary without her. I'm going to do a CD. I'm going to do a whole bunch of songs. It'll be the best CD there ever was. And I sure as hell don't need it for that. Because all she's going to do is throw Tupac in my face in front of my kids.